All right, what's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video, I am sitting down to do some makeup. Like, God is so good, you guys. He is so good. It, can I just say this real quick? It's amazing when you have downtime and you're able to recuperate and rejuvenate yourself and just get what you need from God and then you come back like nothing ever happened. Like, it's awesome. Like, God is just so good. All right, let me roll up my sleeves. Um, be sure to check out today's Bible verse. I'll leave it right here in the corner for you guys. Um, it'll also be down in the description bar. So real quick, this is not sponsored, but I wanted to let you guys know of like this little app. It is called Headspace, and I have been recently using it um, to help me sleep and just um, relax, things like that. It's actually been pretty nice, pretty, pretty nice. So if you have an anxiety, if you have trouble, if you have trouble sleeping, try it out. It may help you out a whole lot. All right, so let's get into today's makeup. I am super excited because I am just in the mood of really getting to the nitty gritty and bomb with my face today. I'm gonna actually do my makeup routine a little backwards today. I wanna do my eyes and get them out of the way because I really enjoy doing my complexion and I kinda just wanna finesse my complexion and then be done. So I said, let me do my eyes first. Um, I actually sat and I curled my hair. Woof, woof, woof. This is in the shade 4.5 and I'm just going to try my hardest to finesse my brows today. All right, while I do that, I'm gonna play some music because I need some. Brows are done. All right, let's go ahead and get into the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and prep this little tip of the LA Pro Girl Conceal. It's actually a good brush if you wanna carve out your brows. All right, and I will praise you, magnify you for you are. All right, so now that the eyes are prepped and ready to go, let me zoom you guys up and we'll get ready to start the eyes. All right, so to be quite honest, I have honestly missed using this palette. You guys remember her? Oh yeah, this I honestly think is probably one of the best palettes that has ever dropped. Like, I don't care, we can argue. It is such a good palette. It has a good even mixture of so many different colors to use. Like I just, I just really enjoy that palette. I'm gonna be taking this Evolve shade right here. You guys remember Evolve? This was such a good shade. I guess just trying out new stuff, just trying to give you guys something new to look at here on my channel, but I'm going back, okay? I'm going back to what I know. So I'm gonna take Evolve on a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to start blending away. I'm not going easy with this whatsoever. I'm going in with the color and I'm going to blend, blend, blend. Like you cannot say that's not good. Like that is so pigmented. Is this palette still available? I'm gonna assume so. I'm not sure. I would think it is, but this is just a really good palette. I would continuously recommend this palette. I think it's about $28. All right, I'm gonna go into um, this shade right here. This one is called, un no, this one's called Frame. It's like a nice dark brown. This is what I had to pull away from it because I was doing these same eye looks over and over. I just, I just really like this palette. And the colors literally blend like a dream. They're so good. All right, for some reason, green is kind of calling my name today. So I'm thinking about this color right here. But first, I'm gonna take the matte color, which is right here. I'm gonna try that color out for a sec. Let's see if this green will show up over this brown. And it is, yes. Bingo. All right, so that just shifted the makeup look. Like we got dark green now, but it's still nice. Like, let's see what this green shade looks like. 
trying to think, do I want to add any black? First of all, let's try with our finger because the brush ain't looking too hot. There we go. But I will have to take a brush just to get more up in the inner corner. All right, I need a black eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the ABH Soft Glam Palette and take their black shadow right here on the end. Just because more, this Morphe palette comes with a black shadow, but when I got my package in the mail, it, mine had already broke and shattered. So I didn't even get a chance to use mine really. So I'm gonna just take this black shade just a little bit, just to help add some dimension to the outer corner because a dark green is not dark enough. All right, so this green is looking too, like, too green. So I'm gonna take the color at the end right here. It's more of like a golden green, and that one is called So Glam. And I'm gonna take that and apply it on top of this green shadow. And that way it'll give us more of like a bronzy green rather than just like a straight up green. All right, let's get into some liner real quick. Y'all already know what I'm gonna end up using. I'm gonna actually use the um, L'Oreal Paris Liquid Liner from the Lash Paradise Collection. I just did a review on that collection if you guys are interested. But I really like this liner because it's super black and I love the handle on this. It gives me so much control. All right, now I'm gonna take my Lash Paradise Mascara. It does come with a primer, but I ain't gonna even fool with it. But honestly, guys, this mascara is so bomb. I like it gives me volume and it gives me length all at the same time while it curls my lashes. Like, this is so good. All right, we need some lashes up in this piece. I'm gonna try these lashes out today. These are from Lashed Out and these are in this I'm about to say style, shade. Um, these are the lashed out lashes in the style dream. I'm gonna pop those on and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the base. I don't know what I was gonna say. I'm gonna first start off with my Olay Regenerous SPF 15. And I really like this for my skin. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that. Y'all. All right, let's get into foundation. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline New York. This is the Superstay Foundation in the shade 332 Golden Caramel. This has been my go-to foundation here for the past couple of days. In my last video, I told you guys how I think I've solved my foundation not matching whole situation, whatever you wanna call it. Cause I just don't know if it was just the bronzers I was using. And I still think it's the bronzers that I use. I still think I can find a good bronzer that will work, you know, for my skin tone. I just haven't found it yet. All right, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Medium Dark 32. And I focus most of this one in the inner corner of my eye. All right, I've been blending in my concealer with this little angled brush. I don't know why, I just I just have. So I have something to tell you guys. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm, it's something new in my life and I'm a little, I'm a little nervous, but I think I may put it up into like another video because I feel like people will have questions and I don't want to make the video and then not be able to give you answers. So I think I'm just gonna wait, but it is a job that I am getting into and you probably won't even think I'm serious, but I am. But I am getting into mortuary studies. Now if you don't know what mortuary studies is, Google it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just taking the angle of the brush and just kind of creating like a nice sharp line All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of my Revolution powder. I like to put it into this little cap, or into the cap. And then I take a big powder brush and 
I just do like a nice little layer of this. It's pretty much everywhere where I put my concealer and everything. All right, let's get into the under eye before we continue with the rest of the face. I'm gonna take a little pencil, like a small little pencil brush or something, and I'm gonna go in with Evolve. And I'm gonna just go ahead and sweep that. Matter of fact, let me do that with a bigger brush first. I'm gonna take a more fluffy brush and take the Evolve color and sweep it under the eye first, and then we'll go back in and do some defining. All right, now I'm gonna take the pencil brush and I'm gonna take the frame color, which was my dark brown shade. Y'all hear my chair. All right, and let's take frame and just blend that underneath. Looking nice and grungy. All right, now I'm gonna dip into the green shade and focus that on mainly the outer corner area. Just do a little bit of blending. Ooh, girl, I'm about to take my face somewhere else. Hold on, girl, I'm getting ready to OD on blending over here, honey. All right, so now I'm going to take some, I really wanna take white. I don't know where in the heck my NYX white pencil is. I know it's probably somewhere down here in like my junk pile of makeup. I don't know how it ended up down there, but I need it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna just take this one from Wet n Wild. And I've used this before and it didn't work that well, but I've noticed that I have to really warm it up on the back of my hand because right now it looks really good. So if you're ever using this, just warm it up first. All right, going back in with my Lash Paradise. Actually, I'm gonna take my, this is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I really like this mascara as well. I'm gonna take this one to the lower lashes. And that way, if I got any white on my lashes, this will cover it up. Yeah, this Hydra Boost mascara is really nice too. I really like this one. I don't care for the smell, but it's really nice. Okay, so I need some bronzer because I'm looking kind of washed out now. I'm gonna take my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder in the shade 745. This is pretty much gonna be my all over face bronzer, but mainly my bronzer bronzer. This one is close to my skin tone, so that this is what helps me not be a different color than my neck. Because usually the bronzers I use are kind of, and maybe that's why I was getting it wrong, because maybe I was trying to contour and bronze with the same type of color, but it was picking up differently. I don't know. And it's kind of hard to OD on this bronzer, so if you go in heavy, you know, you can, you can find peace in that. You're not gonna ruin your makeup. Um, I'm gonna actually take a little bit of, this is the L'Oreal Paris, um, Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush in the shade Bashful. And I really liked this um, yesterday when I used it. But I have to use it in moderation because this does have pinkiness to it. So I'm gonna apply it almost as like my base, um, kind of like on the apples just a little bit because the light hits it and it gives you a highlight, but in other lights it will give you a slight blush. But this one's more like the peachy orangey side. So it still works out just so I'm not ODing. And just for the rest of the face for highlighter, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Master Chrome, and this is in 100 Molten Golden. All right, let's get into lips. I'm gonna take my Minted Cosmetics Night Lip Pencil. All right, next I'm gonna take the matte um, minted lipstick in the shade Peach. This combo I love together, I love it so much. This color is just perfect for just like a go-to nudie. All right, you can definitely leave it matte, but I want more of a glossy look, so I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow and just apply it on top. I feel so uncomfortable, you wanna know why? I feel really, really uncomfortable, just because I feel really overdone. And I don't know if you guys remember my video from like a while back, and I was talking about how like the Lord was changing me. So it's like when I do heavy makeup, I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, but I'm really digging the look. I think it's nice. Green is always such a nice color to go to 
Like I said, I feel super overdone, but I think it's nice and I'm gonna try and just be comfortable in it today because I don't ever really dress up like that anyway. So I'm gonna try and enjoy the look while it's here. I'm gonna go take some pictures. I have my little remote thingamabob that allows me to take wireless photos. So I'm gonna go and try out some photos today, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay, and if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know, and, and of course, until next time, God willing, I'll definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.